Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick show. We're going to be playing more Shadowrun Returns, and we're currently inside the Seamstresses Union. The oft-mentioned Seamstresses Union, so let's take a look around. We got Cherry Bomb here. It's probably a good idea. I'm not going alone. The Ripper's a lie. Oh yeah, I'm guessing Cherry Bomb is the bartender. One of the bartenders. Oh yeah, she's behind the bar. The bartender is a striking elf sporting a perfectly toned body, perfectly pouty lips, and perfectly tapered ears. Her ears, her eyes harmonize save me and take me in equal measure, hitting just the right notes for the maximum extraction of tips. She looks at you, sees another elf, and smiles big. Hey there, haven't seen you here before. What can I get you? Something dirty in a clean glass. Oh, a hard case, I like that. Okay, hard case, I'll get you something stiff. She starts to turn away when a man with the face of a survivor and the zeal of a convert tugs at her arm, hard. It's clear the two have a history. They try to keep their voices low, but the intensity of their conversation makes them easy to overhear. Cherry, you have to listen to me. If you stick around here, you could end up dead or worse. The Ripper is out there, and he's real. That last killing happened just down the block. And now Coyote's missing. They'll probably find her tomorrow in a dumpster without her head. Come on, Cherry Bomb, think. I think plenty, Shane. I'm getting a PH freaking D from UW in neuroprosthetics, studying under Ojamans. And how am I paying for it? The bartending, tips. There are faster ways for a Baron's girl to earn that kind of scratch, but I'm not taking them. So what do you want from me? I want what you want, a better life, a better world for everyone. The Universal Brother could give you that. I've heard all this before. This isn't some trick to get us back together. Things are different now. I'm different now. The Brotherhood... Cherry Bomb's face is, pretty face is hard, armored in lipstick and low expectations. The Universal Brotherhood is for other people, Shane. Rich Bellevue types who can afford their membership fees and voluntary donations. This isn't about money, it's about binding the world together in brotherhood. Come with me, attend a discovery meeting, get to the core of who you are. I heard Lynn Telestrian give a talk last night called The New Family of the Sixth World. I got family right here, Shane. They're drunks and lowlifes and whores, and I choose them over any of your brotherhood members. Now buzz, I need to get back to work. With body language that leaves no question to the conversation being over, Cherry Bomb turns her back on him. Sorry, I got interrupted. I heard. He's got the strength of the of the <laughs> He's got the strength of the righteous, doesn't he? Her eyes narrow. Be careful about whose conversations you listen in on here. Some folks aren't as friendly as I am. You got a look that says you're not just here for entertainment. Are you a badge? Do I look like a cop? She flutters her eyelashes. No, baby, you look like someone who knows the shadows. We're trained to spot a bronze the minute they walk in here. Something I can help you with? I have a few questions. Ask away. Tell me about this place. Well, some come here for the booze, some for the companionship. Others are looking for something they can't get anywhere else. If it's illegal or immoral and it can be bought, sold, rented, or consumed, you can probably find it here. The union seems to attract people like you. Well, who is that you're talking to? Shane, old boyfriend. He used to work here. Then one day he saw a billboard for the Universal Brotherhood and that was that. Went to a meeting, made new friends, moved in with them. I was happy for him until he started coming around trying to recruit me. I don't need that dreck. The guy mentioned Coyote. Is she here? She looks worried. No, I think she's away on business. Business, huh? Is she a shaman with a name like Coyote? She laughs. No, she shot a coyote once, thinking it was a shaman who uh, double-crossed her. We've been calling her Coyote ever since. Her face falls. She's been missing for a couple of days now. Some people think the Ripper got her, but I know her. Coyote can take care of herself. Ever seen Sam Watts? She nods. Sam was a regular customer and a regular pain in the ass for as long as I've been here. Te talked a big game, but he was always broke. As soon as he got any money in his pocket, he went straight to his head. Chips, drugs, or booze. Coyote had a soft spot for him, though. Did you see Sam on the night he died? No, that was Coyote shift. Who runs this place? I want to talk to them. That'd be Mrs. Kubota. She's in the back room. You can't miss her. Whiz. They'll sweat. Talk to you later. Is that the slang of Shadowrun Universe is whiz? Is like thanks, I guess? Whiz. That's not how Coyote does it. 
Oh, he looks different than his avatar there. Hey, lady, I got some extra outfits I'm trying to unload. You want first dibs? I'll take a look. Okay, I have, oh, 1,700 bucks, all right. Dressed one step above a street ganger, grants HP plus three, alley punk. Secure ninja, dodge plus one. Adept ninja outfit that grants the wearer dodge plus one. The tourist look, just toss it on and head out. Perfect for working in the shop, grants intelligence plus one. All right, charisma plus one. Maybe we'll do charisma plus one. Willpower, intelligence. Basic Shadowrunner clothing. So I guess this is if we wanted to rebuy our stuff. I don't know, I think HP is probably good. Charisma, I'm gonna go for Charisma, I think. Clothes directly imported from the Salish Sheed Council. Grants Charisma plus one, Salish Runner. Oh, there's our, oh, cool. It's a totally new look. We got like a thing going on with our hair too. I don't know what that is. Cool. All right, so now we have the samurai clothing. I wanna get a second weapon, but I, I think we need to get another skill for that. Oh, okay. Maybe we should keep, how much inventory space do we have? How do I look at my inventory? Hmm. How do I see like what items I have available? Maybe I don't, maybe I actually threw out that other costume by, by switching it. Oh, we do have six level up points though. Let's take a look at our karma meter. All right, ranged combat we could do. How much does it take for charisma? Five. So we don't even get another uh, etiquette though. So we could get five and then one. And what would be one? Really nothing. Oh, I guess, no, we already have rifle. Additional weapon slot for three karma. All right, so let's do um, weapons with this one, I guess. Critical damage percentage visible, burst fire available. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't actually know how I look at my items in my inventory or if there is an inventory at all. Sweeten the deal. Who's this? Jin Parks. The Asian woman's expression reads, open for business, but her demeanor reads, dealer, rather than companion. She has a jack on her neck, a gun on her hip, and a chip on her shoulder. She eyes you with a sneer. You look like you know your way around. Need something? Weapons? Matrix tech? Show me what you got. Oh crap, we got guns. Baseball bat, Doberman. Whoa, oh it's a combat drone, cool. Uh, drone repair kit, med kit. Wow, I should probably get some med kits but I don't know how many I currently have on me. Oh, here we go, view stash. Oh, there's our stash. How do I look at my stash when I'm in my thing? All right, so we have one, two med kits. We could sell it for a pretty competitive rate too. I'm not gonna bother selling this thing now. It looks like our stash might be infinite, so that's good to know. Let's buy a second one of these. Concussion grenade, frag grenade. This is like an equip screen that I don't know how to get to.
Oh, look at that. This only has two armor. But it's better than our previous armor, so that's good. This looks pretty decent. Now, E for equip? No. I, O, P. I'm just pressing every button now. I'm guessing it's got to be in here somewhere. Question mark? Oh, okay. Basics. Oh, God. Okay. Street Samurai, Mage, Karma, Cyberware, Glossary. Whoa. Why is it like slightly blurry? HUD. No. Um, combat, spellcasting, physical, street samurai. No, I, see, I don't know how to. I just want to go to the equip screen. Oh, maybe it's in here? No. We'll figure it out at some point. What other button could it be? Hmm. Alright, maybe we haven't unlocked the ability to do it yet. Or maybe you have to go to like an equip station or something to do it. Mr. Clue. Posted at the doorway to the VIP section is a tower of troll muscle wrapped in an impossibly tailored suit. Whether the product of good jeans or expensive aftermarket cosmetic work, the troll's gleaming horns perfectly frame his face. Uh, and his polished tusks and goatee accentuate the set of lantern jaw. Welcome. Please behave yourself. Will do. You get trouble in here often? Nothing but a stern look can't usually solve. You have business here? Yeah. I was a friend of Sam Watts. Know him? Sure, everyone knew him. It's a shame to lose such a part of the family. There's a sharpness in Clue's eyes, the look of a man who's seen much and earned wisdom at a young age. I figured Sam was the type who needed to be thrown out on occasion. Encouraged to call it a night, I'd say. Sam was a drunk, but he usually wasn't a violent one. Usually? What about the night he died? He was a bit agitated, didn't catch the specifics. Might have been over a woman. Thought I was going to have to show him out, but I had to deal with a couple of rival go-gangers posturing for one of the working girls upstairs. Jake helped Sam out instead. Keep those eyes and ears open. Always do. Ooh, secret area. Love it. Johnny Clean. The man is dressed like a janitor, but is wearing unusually clean overalls. He's tall, rail thin, and has a cunning look in his eye that says he's more than just a maintenance man. Howdy. Name's Johnny Clean. You new? God. I am. Imagine you've seen all sorts of things in a place like this, huh? True, quite true. And I keep my mouth shut about it, too. That's the secret to keeping a job here and staying alive in general. Gotta work. See you around. Covered in glowing magical talismans and fetishes, the troll does not seem fully of this world. He mumbles to himself constantly, apparently participating in several conversations at once, but with entities you can neither see nor hear. Mm, well, I told you, it's not like that at all. Mm, bring me proof and you shall have it. I am honored, your majesty. Mm, that was why I said to use mustard instead of ketchup. Mm, forgive me, Jean, I was a fool. Mm. He looks you in the eye, his other conversations on hold. You may peruse my magical wares and see their glory. I'd like to view your wares. Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't have that. It looks like all you need for a lot of these, though, is spellcasting one. The healing one would be nice to get, which needs two spellcasting. So we'd save a lot of money on, on med kits that way. That's usually the way I look at magic in a fantasy game, is like, I only use it as much as it gives me the ability to get free healing. All right, ladies and gents, this is the lady, Miss Kubota, right here. Mrs. Kubota, sorry. Excuse me, Mrs. Kubota. I didn't mean to uh, presume. Now, we are going to talk to her on the next one. Thank you, everybody, for joining.
on the show. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel. These episodes of Shadowrun Returns come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.